Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your month of April. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. And if you're not aware of what kind of reading you would like, just go ahead and describe a little bit about the situation you would like some clarity on, and I will help you decide. Yes? Okay, so just a few announcements before we get started. First, if you'd like to book an in-person session with me, you have two options. One, on Fridays, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Friday here in New York City. The link to their website is in the description box below. You can go ahead and give them a call and pre-book a session, and I will see you then. Also, I will be at Collective here in New York City on Saturdays. Um, if you would like to pre-book a 20-minute session, you can email Chloe at CollectiveNYC.com. Her email is in the description box below. And then also, I will be at uh, Awaken Fair this year in Terrytown, New York. That is on April 28th. Uh, Pre-booking is available. You can find the link to that in the description box below. There are 15 or 30-minute sessions available. Just keep in mind that... Pre-booking ends on the 27th of April. Yeah? So for your reading this month, I'm doing it the same as I did last month. I'm going to be starting with a oracle card to get the general theme of your month. And then I will be pulling a uh, regular uh, freestyle spread from the uh, Golden Universal Tarot. Yes? And I'm using the oracle of the unicorns for your general theme for the month. All right, Scorpio. So let's get to it. Let's see what we've got for you. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, I feel like your energy is very strong this month. Um, very fast moving or fast paced. Uh, you may be very strong willed. Um, this is this is a good thing. It does feel like you've overcome quite a lot over the past year or so. Um, you've really done a lot of personal work, a lot of personal healing. You've made some sort of major accomplishment in your life, and that's excellent, excellent, excellent. So uh, congratulations to you. We're definitely, definitely in order here. I'm seeing purple for your energy. Um, and it's talking about divine wisdom here. So that really could be why you are moving strong, moving forward so very strongly because you learned a lot a great deal you've learned a lot of lessons um you've gotten really into the flow um with the with the divine and it's propelling you forward in a way and that's really really beautiful i'm gonna give this one more shuffle uh, scorpio and then we'll see what the theme of your month is okay here we go for scorpio the theme of your month yeah see now i'm seeing red Oh, there it is. So it's translating into, I really feel like either over the course of this month, over the course of this month, sorry guys, um, there's a lot going on around me right now. Okay. Over the course of this month, uh, or maybe it's even been um, over this time period, however long this, this cycle has been for you, um, you're really grounding some true spiritual wisdom, which is allowing you to propel yourself forward, which is really a beautiful thing. Okay. Miracles. Interesting. I just did the Libra reading and their theme for the month was miracles as well. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Now the difference here between you and, and Libra is the fact that um, you're very much in the in the flow. You're very much in, um, in tune with the divine wisdom, with the understanding of how things work. Not maybe totally, but you're either uh, a little more comfortable with how things work when it, in terms of manifesting with the universe, or you really understand a lot more about it, which in turn is also making you that much more comfortable. I just feel like you're really willing to go with the flow, to ease into the situation and, and not get too attached to the outcome while still 
remaining in alignment with that which you desire. I mean, your energy is really strong, really powerful, and really self-confident this month. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful, Scorpio. Um, and, and even like thinking back over the last year, how difficult the energies were for you. Like a lot of the readings were very difficult for Scorpio over at 2018, but I really do feel like you've changed your attitude or you've overcome a lot of that and you've come out on the other end very, very strong and feeling very capable, which is excellent, Scorpio. Okay. All right, all right. I'm going to give this two more shuffles now. And then we'll get into the tarot for you this month, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Scorpio. All right. Here we go, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Boop. All righty. Overall energy. We're starting you off with the Queen of Cups. Here you are, Scorpio. It also could be another water sign, Cancer or Pisces. Um, specifically, this is the archetype of Cancer because this is the cardinal sign within the water suit or the cups suit. Now, compassion and understanding is the name of the game here. So for some of you, you could really be coming into a period of compassion and understanding, but absolutely, this is feeling like the energies of going with the flow here. Just going with it and allowing yourself to just manifest by law of attraction, okay? Getting into alignment emotionally with that which you truly desire. I really do feel like some of you have really come to a greater understanding of the laws of the universe and how manifestation works. Holy moly. Four of wands. Wow. Um, is marriage on your mind? For some of you, uh, that's definitely the case. You could be wanting to... Um, propose to someone that is very much within this um, maybe Cancerian energy, that I'm hearing that specifically, or um, very compassionate, loving, and understanding, empathic, psychic ability. Um, but also for some of you, this if it's not marriage, um, this is union within, but this is also stable foundation, okay? Really under, really having cause for celebration because you've come very far, you've learned some very deep lessons, and you really solidified a very good foundation for yourself. And, and this is speaking internally. It could absolutely be externally. Um, and if it's externally, maybe you're getting a new home, or maybe you've made some improvements to your home, or something just feels different in your home life or in your stability, um, in your foundation. But of course, this is not, especially with the Four of Wands, yes, there is cause for celebration, but this is not a time to rest on your laurels because there's still work to be done. But I really do feel like you understand that, Scorpio. You also have the Page of Pentacles. We really could be talking about some sort of new commitment, new form of commitment, um, maybe even trying to start a family with the Page of Pentacles, trying to get pregnant, uh, or maybe making some sort of proposal. And then you have the Emperor, all right, this is Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, but this is absolutely you taking control of your life, taking control of your circumstances, and taking action in that which you truly desire. But this is absolutely the balance between masculine and feminine energies within you for sure, for sure, because obviously the emperor is, you know, the 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 representation of the divine masculine energy. The Queen of Cups is a representation of feminine energy here, okay? But there is definitely a dominance, a dominance in um, taking some sort of action, maybe even taking the lead here, okay, Scorpio? That's beautiful. Taking the lead, the lead in some sort of community or just taking the lead in your life. Finally taking control over your life, taking, making some sort of action. You might be starting a brand new project, a new creative project that you may have been wanting to do for some time. And you finally have the stability, the foundation within yourself to start taking action towards that. Excellent. This real, feels really great, Scorpio. Okay, so getting into the energies for your month. Normally, I have been saying this was over the first half and second half of your month, but it really could be, it doesn't have to be that way. It could just be the first half and then second half of the reading. Everything is intertwined. Energies flow and fluid are fluid, um, and time is an illusion, okay? So however you want to see it, however it res resonates for you, take it, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month. You've got the Ace of Wands. Yes, there very could, very much could be a new creative venture or a new creative project that you're moving towards. Um, it 
doesn't have to be completely brand new. It could be within the same field that, or like the same general field that you may have been doing, but maybe you're going in a slightly different direction, or it could just be a brand new creative project to begin with. Okay, uh, it could lead to a, a, a new financial outlet for you, especially with this page of pentacles situation here. Um, I am picking up on some sexual energy with the ace of wands, which is fantastic. Sexual energy is creative energy. So maybe you are trying to start a family or maybe you are trying to get pregnant um, or at least maybe your your foundation is set and in a good place for you to start manifesting this somehow it doesn't mean that you're actively going to get pregnant in april but i feel like you're if this is if that part is resonating with you wanting to start some sort of family i do feel like your foundation is finally or is really coming together for you to really start taking steps to, in that direction okay it's beautiful ace of wands is coupled with the four of cups very interesting um interesting I'm not reading this as, or I'm not feeling this as it normally would be. I just, honestly, I feel like maybe you've been feeling lack or left out in the past or something just didn't feel right or complete. Because what I'm seeing in this card with the Four of Cups right now is the universe handing you that fourth cup to give you some sort of emotional stability to get the ball rolling in some sort of new creative venture, new new path, new direction, I really feel like, you know, you may have really felt like something was missing, but now you're like gaining that emotional stability with that fourth cup, because fours are about foundation, and you do have the four of wands here in your overall energy. Yeah, something felt like it was missing in the past, but now it seems you found that missing link, and it's inspiring you to start moving in a new direction with this ace of wands here. Completion, harmony, um, yeah, that's beautiful, Scorpio. Second set of surrounding energies for you. I'm sorry if, yes, I'm rubbing my nose because as I, when I challenge, when I'm, when I'm channeling, often my nose starts to itch. And so sorry if that's distracting, but it is what it is, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. You have the three of wands. Good. So you're on the right path, moving in a new direction, sure, but you're on the right path. And this path that you're on, it just feels right. It feels way more authentic for you. It feels strong and beautiful and powerful. So you're really investing in this. Okay. That's beautiful. Three of wands is coupled with the seven of wands. Uh, naysayers can, can fuck off. <laughs> that's what I'm getting with this card. Whatever it is that you're moving towards, you have, you have, either you have to set good boundaries, maybe that's a lesson that you're needing to learn right now, or you have good boundaries already. Um, there may be some people around you that are kind of like, what are you doing? You're not, you've never done this before. What makes you think you can do this? Screw them. Screw them. If you want to do it, if it feels right for you, if it feels like it's in alignment with you, go for it. The naysayers can fuck all the way off. <laughs> Excellent. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you've got the Knight of Swords, charging forward, moving quickly. Um, combativeness, though. Maybe it's a little bit of haste. Uh, maybe your challenge is to rein in that stinger of yours. Yes, Scorpio? Um, yeah. <sighs> combativeness. You might have to be fighting off some naysayers here. There also could be a little bit of competition. This really could be a defensive energy though with the Knight of Swords as well. Defending your, uh, your, <laughs> defending your honor. I don't know what that means. That just came through, but, um, defending your right to choose freely. Oh, well, hey, I mean, that's what this is, say, is speaking to you too with the Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands. There really is a lot of creative energy here for you and there really may be some people that might want to tear you down or might want to pull you away from this. But if again, if this feels right for you, move forward, okay? The Knight of Swords is coupled with, ah, the Magician. Very much protecting your manifestation. Manifesting um, strongly but also, I guess there is a little bit of hastiness here. Try not to 
try not to be too destructive of people. If there are people standing in your way or if there are circumstances standing in your way, you don't have to rip them to shreds, okay? I know that might feel good, but I would not suggest doing that. I would in, in turn, or I would rather suggest, you know, you take that aggression, aggressive energy and put it into your manifestation rather than tearing people down that are trying to tear you down, right? Um, an eye for an eye is not a situ uh, not ideal here, <laughs> okay? But I just, uh, there is an energy of um, trying not to manifest at all costs. It really doesn't have to be that way, okay? Okay. Your, uh, uh, your closing message or potential outcome here in the first half of your reading, you've got Seven of Swords, though. Mm. Yeah, there is definitely an energy of manifesting at all costs. That's not going to help you. Okay. Really try hard not to be in some sort of deceptive energy. Huh. Seven of Swords is coupled with Five of Pentacles. There absolutely is going, there is some deception around here and there really could be some people, naysayers, that are trying to tear you down, that are trying to make you feel like you're not good enough. It's an illusion. And if it's not someone external to you that's making you, that's working toward making you feel this way, it really could be an internal situation. Again, it's an illusion. It's deceptive. It's self-deception or it's external external deception. Either way, don't give into it. Do not give into it, Scorpio. You've come too far and you've learned too much to give into that. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> um, now, for some of you, if you're wanting to manifest a partner into your life um the deception here is thinking that you're not good enough it's not the case okay okay second set of um oh no the second half of your reading here first set of surrounding energies for you scorpio you've got the hanged man this could be a pisces energy um but this is a change in perspective here and for some of you, that change in perspective is coming out of the energies of feeling less than or lack, okay? The hanged man is coupled with, ah, the star, Aquarius, Aquarian energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or you could be dealing with an Aquarian. Um, now, for some of you, especially with the energy that I was picking up in the beginning of the reading, for some of you, you've already come out of this energy here. So you really changed your perspective and your perspective is now, or that change in perspective has now put you in greater alignment with your truth, your dreams, your manifesting what it is you truly desire, dreams coming true because you have changed your perspective and you're seeing clearly. For some of you, maybe you have come into greater alignment with who you are and now you are ready to take things further take it to the next step for others of you you're needing to change your perspective and heal this perspective around yourself and that's going to help you manifest move forward maybe help you get into this flow that um i was picking up for your energy in the beginning of the reading if you're not already there okay um and that really is part of that strong divine wisdom that is being grounded here into your reality that's beautiful, Scorpio. Second set of surrounding energies, you've got a hey, the chariot. Beautiful. Cancerian energy. You really could be dealing with another cancer. You could have cancer in your chart. You could have, a, you could have any of these other um, energies in your chart. But you see, the chariot is very much talking about being in alignment with yourself and moving forward with great momentum and great passion towards what it is you truly desire here. Beautiful, Scorpio. The chariot is coupled with, ah, but the nine of swords. Now, okay, all right, cool. For some of you, the nine of swords was the energy that you were in in the past, but now you've broken free of that and you're moving forward. But others of you, you're really needing to change your perspective here. 
Change how you see yourself, and that's going to help you move forward. For some of you specifically, this is like you're realizing that you're not one, that you're not moving in the direction that you really truly want to be moving in, and it's causing you anxiety. All you have to do is work on changing your perspective, heal anything that's standing in your way, and then the the sky will open and you'll be free and clear to move in the direction that you truly want to be moving in. All right. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got the seven of pentacles. Okay. The challenge is definitely to learn the lessons, to, to, to pull in the harvest and see it for what it is, understand what it is you want to harvest in, in the future or the direction that you want to be going in in the future, plant those seeds and then take action. For some of you, this is learning how to cultivate the harvest in a better way so that you get, do get a better harvest moving forward. All right. The challenge here for some of you really is learning the lesson. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with Six of Pentacles. Balance and give balance in give and take. You know, again, we're getting into this manifesting with, with uh, reckless abandon or manifesting at all costs. You can't ride roughshod over people and expect everything to work out in your favor all the time. You have to, if you're going to be taking from people, you have to be willing to give back in some way. All right? So keep that in mind, Scorpio, as you're moving forward towards manifesting your desires here. The closing message or the potential outcome here for you, Scorpio, you got... Ah, the hermit. Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could have Virgo in your chart. But this is understanding yourself on a much deeper level. Self-discovery. Um, what's going to help a lot of you that are really resonating with this second half of the reading here um, is doing the inner work. Uh, getting to know yourself better on, an, on a deeper internal level. Um... What, 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 what. Uh, look, finding more of your inner light and allowing that to shine. Some of you, you might have to go a little reclusive in order to do so, but that's okay. It's absolutely okay. If you need to spend time alone with yourself, then do it. Ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? The hermit is coupled with, ah, yep, the four of swords, taking a break, okay? Some of you really might have to take a break and remove yourself from the people around you, remove yourself from the masses, go on a little bit of a hermitage and find your inner truth, find your inner light, okay? But that's beautiful. And and this is all about a change in perspective here between the hanged man and the four of swords, okay? I do see the hanged man as the major arcana version of the four of swords. It's all about changing your perspective, Scorpio. Okay? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Well, actually, no. For the month of May. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah. Bye.